We're walking. I love there. <laughs> hey guys, welcome. Hey. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you. Uh, Again. <laughs> welcome back to Quick, in this case, Quick Drive Reviews. I'm here with my friend T once again, and it's a little different than previous episodes. We actually have a 1972 Pinsgauer. This is a vehicle that T acquired and is fixed up, and we're gonna have a chance to check out and review what is it like to drive a military type vehicle, one of the most capable off-road vehicles in existence really around is. the New York City area, um, or at least the Queens area. Take us to Queens at once. So, so what is the what is a Pinsgauer? It's an Austrian army vehicle, basically. Right. Um, this is the army version. They yeah. did make uh, civilian versions of them too, but um, this is one of the army versions. Um, my friend Tim Harney built 90% of this truck in terms of fabrication. He's our mutual friend. He's dead to us now because he, he moved I to California. I was just gonna say that. He's dead to us. Oh my God, mm. that is crazy how I was thinking the same thing. Uh, anyway, but so you made it nice. You did the black Raptor liner. Oh, a bunch like, of shit I've done. Yeah. But that ten percent equals to months and months of work. To be sure. honest with you. Yeah. Um, so. So what you were saying on the way here though that it's like a mix of it's like a Porsche engine. So, so there's multiple uh, manufacturers got together building okay. this truck for yeah. the military and military basically around the world, mostly European market, but Steyr. Hook, Pinsgauer, mm -hmm. Daimler, Porsche. They all got together, five companies building this masterpiece, absolute masterpiece. Uh, we'll get to talk about it, you know, we'll drive it around. Yeah. I'll show you actually how it functions. Some of the stuff currently does not function, but we'll fix I mean, that, it's I a 50 year there. old military truck. Oh, it's that's, very old. That's driven. This is like parked at his house. Yeah. yeah. Um, we'll go over a quick little details. He's done an amazing job on the interior. Uh, oh, it's, it's a camper it's, now. By it's the, way. the yeah. camper setup. It's better seen to be believed. And then I guess the test drive is going to be a little wild. But uh, all right. So let's yeah. go over the details real quick before we go on the inside. You've yeah. raptor lined it. You just yeah. painted it the other day. I um, painted it the other day. I raptor lined it black. Um, previously, we thought we were gonna go with a tan. Yeah. And then you added the tan stripe back there? I added the tan stripes in the back. Uh, it goes all the way around, so it's mirroring on the uh, the other side, the okay. passenger side. I am going to add a little bit more tan to just like complete the look and not wash it out in black. I think it's a good start though. I got a winch, I added a winch up here with a custom plate. Uh, it's all welded shut, so it's not bolted. Yeah. That should be, <laughs> pretty handy is going to work for sure well for the world's most capable off-road vehicle i mean i don't think i'm ever going to get stuck but that could be saving other people that got stuck in the sure. trails definitely um, all right so might as well check out the camper area we should do that yeah okay it's pretty cool mm. all right t you want to open up the back we'll show off the big reveal the big reveal of what's going on on this. the inside by the way what i noticed this before what is that so i found that on ebay it's a storefront basically a door handle it literally says ask for vans cream bread <laughs> <laughs> it's so cool i think it was it belongs to like you know 1930s 40s something like that a little coat little hanger little over coat there hanger, yeah, from texas um when i'm hanging out up here we could put a little bit whatever little do you want to hop in, in and do a van of white and kind of like talk about what sure, you did i'll look so big in here even though the inside looks big in pictures <laughs> of videos look at it's this. really not look at this details here it's actually you're crazy so t yeah. is as i mentioned in previous videos he owns an amazing upholstery shop also my friend and he's doing uh he's to work on multiple of my vehicles and so on his own cars they have some of the craziest interior it did not look like this originally uh you said this folds out to become like a twin bed if you yeah. wanted to yeah so this cushion you can just fold it down it's like right here. Hold on. Oh, yeah. no that's a twin size bed basically nice. You got your little wood burning stove. Sure. Uh, I have the I have the plumbing inside. I store the plumbing. I don't drive around with the plumbing because it rattles around. I was gonna say, do you have to worry about uh, carbon monoxide poisoning? No, not really. It's pretty tight seal. Okay. You know, so it'll Thank be God. all right. I don't think I'm gonna die. He's got a little spices. Yeah, uh, a little, little storage there for like wallet to or whatever. Keep your little, uh, you know, it's Satan worshiping stones and sure. runes in here. But yeah, it's pretty cool in here. And tin then, ceiling. And then yeah, tin ceiling. Which that ceiling crazy. actually props open and you could just stick your head out from inside or That's watch cool. the stars, which is pretty cool. 
Sweet, this is awesome. All right, cool. Well, uh, I say let's hop in the front seat and see what this thing can do. All right, T is stupid enough to let me drive this thing. Uh, famous last words, I hope I don't crash it. And uh, my extra tight riding pants, here we go. Oh, geez, here we go, okay. It's a lot of uh, unfamiliar things happening you, here. You're gonna be driving a tank, basically a tank, literally a tank. <laughs> uh, by the way, when you hit the uh, the brakes, yes. it actually accelerates a little bit more. Oh. Yeah. Why? Before it stops, because okay. there's a vacuum leak in the brake booster. Oh, okay. So it I'll give it some breathe. I'll give it some breathing room, so I guess. Just rem the other keys. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Just remember to use. I don't know. Like judgment, I guess. Just dip the clutch so it doesn't go anywhere. Okay. Uh. So, what is it? Four That's speed. That's neutral. Yeah. It's five speeds actually. Okay. Seat belts for safety. Uh, oh, really now? <laughs> okay. Guy. We're gonna on it. Uh, so, um, so the key is on. That's on. Okay. Already. You don't have to do anything. Okay. Twelve volt master. 12 volt. Okay. The lights are on. Yeah. Oh, the, power steering is working. That's nice. It's actually electric steering. Okay. Uh, clutch is in. It's in neutral. Hit gas. Okay. Oh, right. Hold the gas down. Okay. Thank you. Perfect. A little different than my old 69 Mustang. It usually doesn't do that, but after a long ride, which we just did, mm -hmm. um, I think the fuel either evaporates or trickles back. Okay. So it just waits for that fuel to get to the engine. Uh, we got CB radio. I have a lot more stuff that I'm going to install. Uh, so it's just the basic. No, this is fine. We're yeah. not. We're not judging here. Where I'm just happy to be in this seat. Uh, what is this for the portal axle and the transfer case? So right now we're on two wheel drive. Okay, which the is green fine. would be a four by four. Okay, this would lock the rear diff and this would lock the front diff. Okay, um, sweet. And they're on the fly. This is the D one and only truck you could ever lock the hubs while you're driving. That's incredible. Yep, it's uh, portal axles by the way. So you know, center of gravity is a little off. So you will we're a little high and narrow. So no hard turns, right? No hard turns. All right, so first is down to the left. You're good. There's nobody there. Keep. Oh, shit. All right. You keep giving it gas. No, I know, I know. The, uh... oh, interesting. Yeah, see, you know Whoa. what I mean? By when I say it just wants to go by itself and then it stops. Yeah. So just feather it. Okay, so what what's happening now is it is probably wants to go to second. Yeah, that's there you go. second. Oh, you're right. good. You got this. All right. Uh, yeah. So once I and it wants to go everywhere. Whoa! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> drive, monkey, drive! <laughs> so hard to explain. Now I have a decent amount of experience driving uh, manual vehicles, but this definitely feels like it's first. It's very short geared. Very short. So uh, that's nice. You're on third. Good. You All right. On fifth. Yeah, you're on fifth. Okay. There you go. That feels like third. There you go. Yeah. All right. We got to stop. So we're going to see how the brakes work. They work if you get on them hard enough. There you go. That's all right. Maybe I'm, not. I'm used to driving old cars. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, burnout. I like it. <laughs> all right. Uh, so it's interesting because I'm keeping the throttle consistent right now, and then it just kind of like goes. It's kinda... got it's got a sticky throttle at the first yeah. gear. I don't understand why. This would probably be less stressful in a non-city or suburban environment where there's yeah, make it right. children running around. But let's, let's make it okay. get a little tighter. All right, left or right? Keep right. Okay. Oh, okay. I got it. Don't worry. I won't kill him. I won't kill him. I promise. So it has like a thing where it does like want to lurch ahead on its own, and it's also a very vague steering. Um, we can tighten that a little bit. Oh, what? How, this why? is the steering strength. So oh, you can no make it, way. Yes, so you can make it stiffer. Right now it's stiff. <laughs> you feel it, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it feels a, like a 911 now. It's it's electric. Yeah, right. All right, I'm really exactly. on the brakes right now. Interesting. I would not recommend this car for somebody that doesn't know man 
really wonky manual. I feel like it's gonna stall out. Oh my fucking god. No, I think that if you stall it out, you don't know how to drive a manual, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's the rule, you know. Just uh, imagining or driving. All right, I'm trying to take it very gentle on first, but it does the thing where it goes and then it slows down. I did. I drive it the same way. It's not you. It's the truck itself. I feel so guilty. I promise I won't crash into any cars. Nah, I know. I'm, we'll right. be we'll be okay for sure, but we'll cause a lot of damage. <laughs> it, it, I mean, you've seen the the sheer size of that steel bumper. Oh yeah. Sorry about that. I'm no, just yeah. uh, you know just feeling around. Um. All right. Take a right. All right. Sure. Why not? If they don't know where they're going either. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Wheel is very vague. Yeah. Um. <laughs> All right, we going straight or left? Or right? Left. Okay, left. All right, here we go. Adventure turn. Oh my God, it's throttling on its own. Okay. <laughs> my foot was not on the gas for that. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a military truck. Uh, so there's a lot of uh, this feeling of like I'm in a 1950s detective movie where I'm just kind of like driving vaguely. Hello, children of the neighborhood. They're all smiling. Hello, cat. Whew. A little toasty. We have a um, nice plexiglass sunroof here. Uh, visibility is pretty good. The ride is smooth for what it is. Uh, I would say the hardest part is the throttle on first gear, the vague steering, um, and the manual brakes are more of a suggestion. Uh, oddly, it does not, every time I think I'm going to stall it out, it does not stall. It just yeah. keeps on going. It, it dips down and I thought I stalled it, but it is still going. Um, you can tell even after you take the key. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's still on for a couple seconds. Oh really? Like that. Yeah. Is it like everything about this truck like just vague? Like it just suggestions? Absolutely. So like you need to be a driver, driver to be able to drive one of these, especially in the city. Oh, 100%. Okay. Yeah. Again, the steering is more of a suggestion, as you can see here. <laughs> God. Well, I, the interesting thing about this series, and I was telling T before, is I'm trying to get behind the wheel or on the seat of interesting and unique motorcycles and vehicles. And so every time I get on something new, it's, a ch it's really a challenge to test my riding or driving abilities to see how awful, oh God, <laughs> how awful, or uh, it's just a plexiglass, yeah. how awful or decent I am. Uh, and I appreciate the challenge, and it's nice that I have friends like Chari, friends like T, that let me abuse their vehicles as I try and convince more people to let me get behind the wheel or get on the seat of their, their bikes and cars. Um, certainly driving a military vehicle in Queens is, is certainly, oh my god, certainly an adventure, especially when there's Ubers trying to get hit. Literally trying to get hit. Yeah. I got I just, just wanted it. I think it's going to be really hard to top this off in terms of weirdness. <laughs> it's probably the hard, the weirdest vehicle I've driven on the series so far, for yes. sure. There we go, third gear. It felt like we were going 50 miles an hour, but I looked down and saw we were going 20. Okay, are we going straight or right? This is where we were earlier. Okay. Yeah, they shut that down anyway. Do you want me to, I'll do on my own accord, I'll do a quick uh, little U-turn up there, I yeah, guess. And, whoop. Yeah, just a little quickie. All right, so so we don't uh, make anybody mad, but just to show what's possible, we're gonna, uh, uh, first gear, into second, oh my God. Oh my God. And it's, it's going on its own. That was the throttle on its own, so, so didn't mean to kill you. It literally, like, I put it into second, and it went. <laughs> I saw, I saw T oh, bracing. Like, no, no, no. I, I literally was like on the brakes, and I pushed the clutch in. It is literally throttling on its oh, own. Like, We're gonna flip. I see this whole barbecue family over here. They're all. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> they just turn around. Like, what the hell? T thought I was gonna kill him. It literally ran on its own. 
I use this spoon man on second gear too. Oh no. my god. Okay. It well, T, I promise I, I just pushed the clutch down and just slammed on the brakes and we, we survived it. Yeah, but I saw T was braced like oh this, like god. I was going to launch us over. Oh my god. I'm sure in the video it doesn't look that steep, but that's a pretty steep <laughs> Final thoughts? I'm going to turn this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's fine. I'm going to anyway. turn it off. Well, let's see. Do I turn the 12 volt off or do I turn the key? It doesn't matter either way. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's like that whole thing where you said it still keeps on going on its own. Oh, oh that's weird. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, final words. I'm going to turn this like that. Easy to turn the wheel even without power steering. That's nice. Some good leverage. Um, my first oh, military vehicle. It did a great job. Uh, Try to launch us up a hill. Um, T was very patient. Um, <laughs> it was a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, I don't know if I'd ever own one. You're a little bit crazy to want to own one of these, but it is damn cool. Look how cool this thing is. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this. We'll live to ride another day, and I hope you look forward to another wacky vehicle we have lined up for next week.